Copter is a set of add-ons for remote-controlled helicopters. Firstly, it features an interface where your real-life copter can act as a sprite in a projected game, interacting with the game in real time as you fly around the screen. The second add-on features pedals that control the up-and-down motion of your helicopter, providing fun, responsive flight control. Our gaming interface could easily be extended to control a wide variety of new or pre-existing games. Our software is easily adaptable. We imagine our pedal control software could be used as an exercise game, or even to interact with our gaming interface for a really cool helicopter experience. For our pedal-powered helicopter, we needed to translate the speed of the pedals into infrared signals sent back to the helicopter. A Hall effect sensor measures alternating polarity of a magnetic field. We mounted rare earth magnets of alternating polarity on the axle of the pedals and used the Hall effect sensor to measure the pedal speed and send it to our Arduino. We use an Xbox Connect to measure in real time the position of the helicopter in front of the screen. Using the libfree Nect API, Python, OpenCV, and NumPy, we found the position of the helicopter by calculating the center of mass of all the points closer to the camera at a certain threshold. The project reads Python. We wrote the game in Pygame because it's an easy and mobile wrapper for the SDL library. The game consists of a copter that travels through a cavern facing obstacles and violent enemies. Much of the terrain generation is random, but not uniform. We found testing for random conditions gives the natural, random look of a cavern. By manipulating the random distribution at different points, the program gave us a functional cavern. We wanted to build everything on site, so we built our own projector out of PVC pipe and duct tape. We also wrote all of our own game music during the hackathon. A large part of this project, as with any hack, was overcoming unforeseen complications. Our PVC pipe cutter was too small, for example, so we cut the pipe using string. The friction of the string on the pipe was enough to melt it. Another hurdle was the uncontrollability of our relatively simple, inexpensive copters. A copter with the amount of precision to fully enjoy our interface was inaccessible both in price and availability. With the proper helicopter, we could both play a more nuanced game or operate both of our interfaces at once, playing our game with the pedal control. It's immensely refreshing to design something functional and cool for its own sake. We'd like to thank Hacktech for the opportunity, and we hope you enjoyed our product.